So today's reading the famous Beatitudes from Matthew's Gospel, we unpacked a little bit what the true meaning of those things are, but they define the kingdom of God, not in terms of citizenship or boundaries or following rules or regulations or wearing a uniform. They are about the attributes of people sharing a life lived in love, a life that isn't pushy, that doesn't seek self-promotion, one that seeks the needs of others, one that is empathetic with the world around them, that sees need and is disturbed when it is not amended and corrected and reset. It's a strong call to action, not for those to enter an exclusive club, but for those to aspire to the very highest of principles, and in so doing, become part of what God intended the world to be like, where all know they are loved, all accepted, and that God's great love goes beyond any boundaries or any prejudice that anyone could ever think of. It's a marvellous, liberating call, and one that goes to the very heart of our Christian discipleship and calls us to work beyond the walls of our building and our sanctuaries, uh, to go beyond the confines of even our spiritual practices, and instead to live a life characterised by what God wants us. And that can be expressed in so many different ways, both big and small, interpersonal and organisational. There are so many ways to witness, but however we do it, make sure it is done, characterised, shot through with love and joy and peace 